Hello everyone. Today we're going to walk through how to set up a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse by Microsoft. This is something I will be gifting to my family member and I foresee some phone calls on how to set it up. So hopefully this will help them and anyone else who's in the same uh, situation. Uh, note that all Bluetooth devices are paired similarly. The only difference is where the Bluetooth pairing button is and how long you hold it for. And we'll go through that here. Um, but for this video, we're focusing on the Microsoft keyboard and mouse. So the way we get started is we have the keyboard here. They're on, but they're not doing anything because they're not set up. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go down to the lower left search field and we want to search for Bluetooth. If you type in blue, usually that's enough to populate the Bluetooth and other device settings option. Click on that. Now this is Windows 11. Other operating system versions may look a little different, but for the most part, you're gonna have an input device, which are the things that are currently connected to your device, and an add device or new device or anything of that sort. So we wanna click on add device. And then we wanna click on Bluetooth. And as you can tell, it's immediately picking up a headset and a Kindle, but not the mouse. So we wanna hold the pairing button on the bottom of the mouse for about three seconds to one, and there it is, it's in pairing mode. And it immediately pops up on the screen. Click on that, and that's pretty much it for the mouse. Once it's connected, you'll be able to use that mouse moving forward. You click next. Now let's add the keyboard, same thing. Add device, Bluetooth, and it's not picking up the keyboard because it hasn't been set to pairing yet. You do that by finding the pairing button, which is in the bottom of the Microsoft keyboard. Hold it for three, two, one, and that should set it into pairing mode, which it did. You can see it flashing on the escape key, and it popped up in the menu. Now for the keyboards, you click on that, it's gonna ask you to type in a code. You type this on the new keyboard, not the existing one. In this case, they want us to use 497854. So we go to the new keyboard, Go 497854, and the minute I hit enter, it's gonna take the keyboard and we're good to go. I should not be able to control the windows through the keyboard. So for anyone out there who will be getting a Microsoft keyboard and mouse, I hope this helps.